psychologist says Sir's death could have a lifetime impact on family, friends, and classmates. KMBC 9's Andy Alcock is getting answers on some disturbing trends involving violence and children. On Thursday, Amanda Minot had the difficult task of explaining to her kindergarten students at West Park Elementary, with the help of counselors, their classmate, Sir Brown, had died. Some of them will say, well, when he comes back, or like in their mind, it's more that he's homesick. They don't quite have the brain development to understand what death is and how final death is. Dr. Danielle Johnson is a child psychologist at the Marillac Center, a psychiatric hospital for children. With the hospital full, a group called Bags of Fun Kansas City brought items to patients Friday to give them hope. What they do is give them a chance to play, let them know that there's a community around them supporting them. According to the CDC, gun violence is the number one cause of child death. And new University of Missouri research shows most child shooting victims like Sir are outside and not the intended targets. It's not normal for kids to go through. My job is to help them find more effective ways of coping with their feelings and how they deal with um, horrible things that have happened to them. But Dr. Johnson said the impact of incidents like Sir's murder can last a lifetime. In KCK, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News. Dr. Johnson said normal reactions to traumatic events run the gamut of human emotion, including sadness, anger, and fear.